and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we are talking about the Colorado River and what is going on. Are there water cuts coming? Question mark. That is to be determined. As of right now, there is no water cuts agreements amongst the states. There was, however, a meeting last week amongst the leaders, and they were all talking about big-time water cuts coming to the Colorado River, and maybe as much as 4 million acre feet starting next year is a possibility and not out of the realm. And we will soon know, soon enough, as I thought yesterday it would be today, but unfortunately I was off by one day. I forgot that it was actually August 16th, so we have to wait one more day to find out out what actually happened. So last week there was a big meeting amongst the powers to be in Denver and they said there was a lot of arguing and disagreeing and nobody really wants to give up their water rights as of right now. But from my understanding, is that going to affect you personally that lives out in the West? Is that going to cause you to lose water? No. From my understanding, the majority of it will target the pocketbook possibly. Once this becomes implemented, the biggest part of this is going to end up costing you money at the grocery store for fruits and vegetables that are grown in California. And from my understanding, the farmers are wanting a big chunk of change. They're wanting a big chunk of change because if they can't farm, then they're going to lose a ton of money. They're wanting the government to offset that because they're not going to be able to grow. But in the meantime, everybody else is just out of food. That will amplify the food shortage. And this is going to be really really bad for everybody not a good situation if these cuts come to pass either way if you give them the water not a good situation if you don't give them the water a bad situation too houses are going to continue to get what they have coming to them now with that being said i did watch the governor newsom's press conference from california and i will say that he is very proactive about taking funds now california has a surplus of eight billion dollars they are are going to take that surplus and use it for the good of California in eliminating their use on the Colorado River. This was his words. They are going to try to stop using the Colorado River in the next two decades and that will take 40 million people offline. One thing that I wasn't quite aware of that he brought up in his press conference that California has 37 desalination plants already. Of those, 14 of those pull seawater the other pull 23 pull brackish water. He's talking about using that brackish water more frequently and building more desalination plants amongst there. And then also I have talked about in the past the sites reservoir and other places as well. They are going to be building new dams. I think they said maybe four or five more new dams that will be built to capture this rainwater that comes in. Instead of allowing it to go out to sea, they are going to harvest that water and keep it from going out to sea ahead of time. That way, California has plenty of water to go around. They say the sense of urgency is now, and they need to get with the program. They need to be doing this today, if not sooner. Governor Newsom also has eliminated the environmental groups basically by executive orders. Now, I'm sure these will come with legal challenges along the way as many advocates for different things will be like, no, 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 we can't do this or that. But he's basically saying there's no time to wait. This is a sense of urgency. He also talked about putting water into aquifers underground and basically reusing the water. They say that they have plenty of water that comes into California, but most of it just goes right out back to the sea, which I have talked about, and they said enough of that. We need to reuse the water that we get, and we will be plentiful, and we'll have plenty of water to go around once this happens, and they are really brainstorming. Now, one reporter did ask him, let's take barges up to Columbia River and bring those barges down, and he laughed about it and said, we will do that if we need to, but I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. So, you guys take your own opinion opinions from that and I'll link this down below so you guys can check this out as well. And the last thing from that press conference that I did come across was they said that they're getting ready to put smart meters in every house, farm, and 
everything that doesn't have a meter right now will have to have a meter very very soon and basically that's to help people realize how much water they actually use and maybe help them realize that they need to be more conservative two ways to look at that some people say yay some people say nay what side of the coin do you fall on on that let's go check out windy.com you guys are going to be impressed with these monsoons that are going on in colorado utah arizona and nevada as well they are really really ramping up and it's been every day seems like out that way so i want to check out the radar well, let's go do that right now check out these monsoons out here in utah and colorado and arizona they are getting a lot of precipitation out here this is widespread and this is going on right now just to the west of vegas up by St. George. Look at all this in Utah. This is fantastic news. Any precipitation will definitely help. This has been a wetter than normal monsoon season so far and they said that this is the wettest it's been in Vegas in like 10 years. So finally some good news. I'm not saying this will ever fill up the lake but definitely help the lake help ease the problem just a bit for a few days if not more. Who knows? And they're actually getting rain up on Lake Powell which is a first and up by Grand John Junction, all the way up to Colorado. Even in Denver, they're getting a lot of precipitation right now as well. And these monsoons are going to continue according to this. Let's look at the long range forecast here and uh, the rain accumulation over the next few days. 1.12. This is widespread, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we need. We need some widespread anywhere from a half inch up. This is definitely a good sign. Now, check this out. It gets better and better. And then check out this in Colorado here you're talking three plus inches here in the mountainous areas in Colorado all the way up to almost Denver and down here on the San Juan River check all this precipitation that's coming Lake Navajo's right there you can see that they're, they're talking about getting a whole bunch of rain that flows into Lake Powell and then right on Lake Powell itself 2.72 inches of precipitation hopefully this trend will continue who knows how long it will but in the meantime there is hope on the way and that's all I have for tonight this is kind of a short video i just wanted to be clear on what was going on so if you like this content click right here to watch more of my content and you guys have a blessed day